What's up, YouTube? Coming back with another video, man. It's Enoch 777. Shouts out to everybody out there. Y'all stay out of the way. Say focus and balance. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. One of my subscribers wanted me to make a video about the spiritual meaning behind being paranoid. So, I said, I got you. What does paranoid mean to me, right? This means that um, I am suspicious of something. This means that I feel like something is wrong with this reality. This means that I question my existence, right? That's what it means to me. It may mean something different to you. So, you don't second guess yourself. You go back and think, and you be like, what was that? Did I see something move? Did I see something right there? Did I hear a sound? You know, certain people will be like, man, you crazy, you tripping, you ain't hear nothing, you ain't see nothing. But you could have sworn that you just seen a shadow figure right there lurking in them lights. So, <laughs> this stuff is really happening, but other people will think you are crazy. So, with the English words that we have been given, we can take these words and find a hidden meaning once we pull this whole word up and examine it. So, Paranoid just so happens to be one of those words, right? We can spiritually begin to break down and expose. So, split it up, divide it, and study it and see what it truly means. You will be surprised. Paranoid. Para first. Para rhymes with parallel realities parallel universes paranormal this is what it rhymes with so parallel realities right what do this mean you have clone copies of yourself doing a lot of things instantaneously all at once extremely quick and fast clone copies you ever seen a cartoon fighting shows and you have these characters they create like little clone copies of themselves and they attack the enemy and beat them up that's what's going on with us this is parallel universes we can use this to be able to see what we are doing in the future and what is about to happen but in the present moment whatever you're doing throughout time any single little thing this is a different version of yourself each time doing something different and different. Let's say if I move my hand, then in the future, my clone is moving his hand. If I say a certain word, like, how y'all doing? My clone is saying that right there, but it's not really a clone. You get what I'm saying? So, with parallel realities, this means that um, we have other things existing on the side of us, dead or alive. Some people tap into this. And some of these people would be the chosen ones that certain people call us crazy and paranoid and we tripping. It ain't nothing wrong with us. We just can see far into the spiritual realm. What paranormal, what this means to me is that you are aware that there is things outside of this reality actually taking place with ghosts, with spirits, with extraterrestrial activity with UFO sightings and things of that nature. This is what that means to me, right? Oh, that cup, it just moved. That book, it just went flying. I just seen somebody come in the house and they're a dead person. I can see dead people. That's what it means to me. So what I wanna do is take the second part, right, of Paranoid and show you what is taking place and going on. So. What does it rhyme with? First off, it rhymes with void. Noid rhymes with void. So, 
once you close your eyes like this, you know, that's a void. That's another form of the void. But whenever you open your eyes, it's all an illusion because we are walking in darkness right now, but we are seeing like light appear. And the light is coming in the form of physical objects and everything is an illusion. So we are really surrounded by nothingness, which is a void, right? We can see into the darkness. We can see far beyond what other people can actually see. So it's kind of like we have these goggles and we can zoom in, beam in to the spiritual realm and see certain stuff that's trying to hide and cloak themselves. And this is the superpower that we actually have. So have you ever heard of the phrase, if you stare at the abyss long enough, it will stare back at you. Have you heard of that? If not, let me explain this to you. So, with Ed, Ed, and Eddie, a prime example, that show is about purgatory. It's about in between, waiting to go to heaven, right? Basically, you're not in hell, you're not in heaven. You're in between. But, with the Canker Sisters, right? They were demons. So, they was in love with Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They had a crush on them. But you will begin to see within that cartoon that they were hiding in the woods in complete darkness. So, Ed, Ed and Eddie was within the light, right? On the bright side of the woods, the forest. And the girls, they was hiding in the bushes. So, guess what they did? They started looking. So the more that Ed, Ed and Eddie started to stare into complete darkness, being that void, they actually started to stare back, being these females. And right then and there, you see their eyes transform into demon eyes. So that's what it means when people say, if you stare at the abyss long enough, it will actually start to stare back at you. Personally, I have looked in certain people's eyes in this reality, and I seen the abyss, the lake of fire, in their eyes. I know a lot of you that watch my YouTube videos, y'all basically got set up before by people closest to you, right? Or somebody that you knew. They got you put in a certain situation to the point when you got back reacted, you are within a mental health hospital, right? So, once you actually went to this place, right, they thought you was crazy, but you woke up and you seen the truth. You seen what was really going on within this reality, right? So, that's what happened to you. That's why all of that stuff happened. So, uh, whenever you got to this building, right, you sat down in the chair, you went back there in a little office and talked to this person, you know, with a doctor or whoever that was, and they basically wanted to know what is going on inside of your head, right? They ask you stuff like, do you think people are after you? Are you seeing stuff? Is people following you? Is people trying to kill you? You know darn well in your mind that that is what is going on. But if you snitch on yourself, guess what they gonna do? <laughs> they gonna stick you with that needle. They gonna give you medication to sedate you and make you fall back asleep in a matrix. So guess what you do? You lie and say, nah, that is not happening to me. Everything is fine. I'm not seeing nothing. I'm not paranoid. But in the back of your head, <laughs> you just seen this van parked outside and these people pointing at you, but you're gonna keep it cool and safe and not snitch on yourself. So that's what's going on. And the reason I say that is connecting this to being paranoid when we are really not. We just are suspicious of certain strange activities that is taking place within this reality, right? So with the celebrities, you heard stories of people being butt naked outside screaming the illuminati is trying to kill me they trying to take me out and then you had a media making fun of these people and they puppets saying that 
Oh, uh, he's crazy. He's paranoid. No, he not. The reason he got a gun in his hand because people is really after him, right? We seen people get sacrificed a lot. I seen a lot of people get sacrificed. YouTubers, celebrities. I am really awoke when it comes to this spiritual mess. I see it all the time. And they post certain statuses before they die and they let you know what is going on. But certain people think they're paranoid when they're not. But anyways, man, this Enoch 777 piece, I'm out. We win it. We win it. We win it. We win it.